So for like a year now, there's been this guy following me on Instagram called Knives of France. Um, and he just seems to like any picture of pocket knives that I put up there. Um, but he has a website, and as his name may uh, give away, he sells uh, French pocket knives. Uh, so for a while now, I've been waiting for a knife to come up on his website that I wanted to try. Uh, because, you know, I like buying knives from different companies and, you know, having knives from different countries is kind of interesting, too. I own a lot of German-made knives between the Otters and the Bokers that I own. Uh, the only French knives that I owned before this were Openells, and I love Openells, but they're not really exciting. <laughs> um, so I don't end up carrying them a lot. Um, but I saw this knife uh, on his website a couple weeks ago, and this is the GR Prado or Pradle or something like that. Um, and this one's in uh, horn, and it should be in carbon steel because it was in the carbon steel section of his website. Because, of course, I want it in carbon steel because I really like uh, carbon steel as opposed to stainless steel, just because uh, it's what I prefer because it stains and everything, and I like that kind of thing. Um, you know, it to age over time and everything. Uh, but yeah, this knife was like, uh, like $55 or something like that, $60. Not super expensive. It's around the same size as like the three rivet, uh, Otter Messer knife or like a case sod buster. It's got this like three and a half inch, uh, spear blade here, uh, full flat grind. Uh, it's not super thin. Uh, the blade stock's not super thin, but I feel like the edge is pretty good. So I feel like it would cut well I haven't really cut a whole lot with it I think I opened like a package with it or something um, I do like to do these videos before the knives get a lot of wear on them just to show you what you're getting if you order one pretty much um, I don't really like to show especially with these uh, traditional pocket knives I don't really like to show a knife that I've carried a bunch because then it's gonna have like uh, staining on the blade and like the bolsters and everything will be all scratched up and everything so at least with like traditional pocket knives, I do the videos before I really carry them a lot or use them a lot. Um, and I know I've gotten criticism for that in the past, but that's just how I do it because I want you to see what you're going to get in the mail pretty much. Um, but anyway, uh, got this from Knives of France, like I said, um, right here. It's his uh, information, knivesoffrance.com, Knives of France on Instagram, Knives of France on Facebook. If you're interested in checking out his website, um, I recommend that you do. He's got a bunch of pretty cool French knives out there. Uh, but more about this knife then. It's got a half stop. It's got a pretty good action, but with, with most French knives, you want to close them gently. Because for whatever reason, the French design their slip joints so that when you let them close on their own, they slam into the back spring and cause... Uh, rolled edges or chip blades I can show you that right here maybe yeah right there at the tip it hits the uh, it hits this like the back spring uh, not sure why French companies do that but it seems to be a pattern with French pocket knives uh, that are slip joints that if you let them close on their own they slam into the back spring and dent or roll or chip or whatever the blade uh but yeah so all, pretty much all french knives if you just let them close on their own are gonna have blade wrap uh so you gotta close the blades gently um like i said i don't know why they design them like that um i have heard in the past that that's how you're supposed to close a slip joint but it's just much easier just to let it close on its own as far as I'm concerned. And since most knives don't have a problem with it, it's something that I've gotten used to doing. So when I am going to carry this knife, I got to try to make sure that I remember just to try to close it gently. Because apparently the French like knives that hit the back springs if you close your knife like a Neanderthal. Um, but yeah, <laughs> other than... Other than that kind of like weird thing, uh, knives put together pretty well. It's put together about as well as I would expect a real working knife to be put together. This isn't a collector's piece. I mean, granted, you could collect it, um, and anything's a collector's piece if you want it to be. Uh, but, you know, no huge gaps or anything. Um, 
there's no there's no blade play, so it's good working in that way. Uh, it's got a pretty strong it's got a strong back spring, so the blade will stay open unless you're doing something stupid, uh, which you shouldn't be. It is a slip joint. Keep that in mind. We'll go around stabbing things. Um, but yeah, so knives put together pretty well. I'm very happy with it. I really like this knife. Um, he's got a bunch of other knives on there, but this was the main one I was interested in. It also came with this like uh, rather cheap uh, little like pocket slip thing. I don't think it's really leather. Um, some sort of like fake leather or something um, would be my guess but it certainly doesn't seem like real leather. Um, so I've got better pocket slips than this. Um, but, you know, if you're just, if you're looking for something just to help protect your knife, it'll do that. Um, but I'm not big on pocket slips anyway, so when I start carrying it for real, I'll probably just throw it in my pocket because that's generally how I uh, just, you know, carry a pocket knife. Uh, but anyway, I feel like I've babbled long enough. Uh, once again, knivesinfrance.com, a bunch of cool French-made knives. Uh, check it out. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the video on this uh, French-made GR Pradel uh, knife. And I like it quite a bit. This is going to be uh, something similar to the three rivet that I can carry from a different country. Um, so that's going to be it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one, and I hope you have a good day.